TDS has a lot of silly skins, with furries, Walter White, ice cream and more. So I decided to create the silliest loadouts I could to see which ones were the best. Also, consumables are banned and I am absolutely forbidden from using them under any circumstance. Which one of these loadouts will come out on top? Watch to find out. Starting off with... That's right, we're off with Walter White and his hazmat goons to the New Mexico desert to cook up some Roblox friendly blue sugar. Yeah! I started off with Walter, who was cooking up the finest sugar to generate us some income. I also got down a pyromancer to clear out crowds and handle hiddens. One could say that we were cooking. I started getting down a few minigunners. I also got a few electroshockers to stun some enemies. It was smooth sailing until glitches spawned and I died instantly. After a bit of research, I learned that although level 2s are technically the best level for minigunners, they suck, so I got a few level 3s instead. This did absolutely nothing, I died on the same wave. For my final attempt, for my final attempt, I took the risky decision to invest more into level 4 cowboys, which surprisingly allowed me to destroy the glitches. We were shredding through every wave until wave 30, where the tank whizzed past my minigunners and ended the run. I guess in the end, it was me who was cooked. For my next loadout, I got all the food towers in the game and tried to beat Pizza Party. I got my friend Quicksilver and we hopped into a duo game. I began to farm whilst Quicksilver got down Cookie Scouts. And after a while, I got Chocolatier Militant, who was down for exactly four waves until I sold her and never used her again. This tower kind of sucks, I can't lie. As the scout boss spawned, Quicksilver got a freezer that allowed us to slow it down and kill it. Into the mid game, I started getting pumpkin minigunners whilst Quicksilver got pumpkin rangers. I also got egg grip to commanders for... What a melon! It was going well. But as we got into the mid game, enemies were getting further and further along the path. On wave 34, breakers were literally moments from killing us, but in an act of desperation, I used a jet to kill some enemies. I know, I know, I'm a fraud, I'm sorry. We kept going, but eventually a horde of enemies, including the powerful necromancer boss, overpowered our troops and got into the base. For our second game, we decided to max farms to get more minigunners quicker. Quicksilver also swapped out Scout for Cowboy to get additional income. We were making a lot of money, however, we forgot to defend and ended up dying. Dying. And that kid is why we should all be communists. <laughs> For the final game, we locked in. We had a strong defense and maxed farms. Our towers were destroying the enemies until the necromancer boss returned to finish what he started. He walked along the path and killed the run. It's always the necromancers, isn't it, man? Unfortunately, I had lost two challenges. In other news, this freezer skin looks a lot like a furry. For my next loadout, I got every tower wearing an animal costume in the game. From simple bunny ears to giant pink bunny costumes, we had it all. And I knew what the most fitting map for this loadout would be. I assembled a team, consisting of Nivdiot and Channel Member Zurex. Nivdiot started farming while Zurex and I defended with Phantom Engineers and Ducky Scouts. Our defense wasn't the strongest and we were leaking a few enemies, but overall we were doing a good job. Thanks to early farming, Nivdiot carried our lackluster defense with Bunny Mortar and Minigunner. Zurex got a Neko DJ and I got some Vigilante Electroshockers. Nothing was getting past our pure fur power. I got told off for not chaining, but he's wrong. Let me explain why. Near the end, the pure number of troops and explosions was burning my computer. I had to turn my graphics to level 1, and I was still lagging. If you want to help me get a new computer, consider subscribing. Unsurprisingly, we took down the Fallen King with ease. Hey, can you guys hear that? It's... It's FREEDOM! I got all the gunslinging partners in the game for this loadout to see if we could beat Badlands. I got fellow YouTubers Minty and Swifted to help, who are both American, further increasing my patriotism level, along with my friend Ronaldo. We defended with gold cowboys and soldiers and began our American dreams with good old capitalism. Our gun collection grew and grew and grew, and the smell of freedom kept growing stronger. Our main forms of DPS were turrets, pursuits and minigunners, and we had a crap ton of military bases and mercenary bases flooding the past. I was feeling so patriotic that I felt myself physically transforming 
turning into an American. We were taking down every enemy with our pure firepower, and Ronaldo was trying to troll me and be a nuisance. We cruised our way to the final wave and took care of all the small enemies quickly, and then we had our eyes on the gunslinger. However, he was at a massive 450,000 health and almost at the end of the bar. We kept fighting, but we knew we were going to lose. With 300,000 HP, he walked into our base and... Wait, someone's calling me on Discord. Wait, Joe Biden? Don't worry, Ned Watto. I got you. Send in the nukes, boys! Wait, what the fu- If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and let me know what your favorite loadout is in the comments below. Also, everyone in this video is in the Discord server. If you want to speak to me and take part in videos like these guys, make sure to join. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!